welcome back to Taffy's Texas Kitchen. Today we're going to be making dinner rolls. I'm going to get everything together and then we'll be right back. Okay, and I've got one and a half cups of warm water, four tablespoons of butter, and one third cup of sugar, and my yeast. And I've already let that bloom for ten minutes. And we're going to pour that into our mixer. And then we're going to put one egg. And then I'm going to give that just a little mix to get our egg broke, egg break broken. I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt to our flour. I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. And I've got four cups of flour. We're going to add in one cup, and then we're going to give that a mix. On two. I thought tonight I'd make some dinner rolls. My daughter is making some uh, pork chops and mashed potatoes and I think green beans or uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure. I thought the dinner rolls would go good. I'm going to add another cup of flour. I'm going to scrape down the sides. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and put two cups of flour in. So in total, we need four cups of flour. And then I'm going to blend that out of two until it comes together. Okay, the dough has came away from the sides of the bowl. That you see in there. And now, since this came away from the sides of the bowl, we're going to let this, uh, let the blender knead it for uh, four minutes. And then when it gets done, we'll come back. Okay, we let it knead for uh, four minutes. And I'm going to take it off the dough here. Now, I'm just going to coat this with oil and we're gonna let it uh, set for one hour to rise. Okay, our dough is done rising, and I'm just gonna take it out. And at this point, you don't have to knead it or anything. We're going to cut it into uh, 12 pieces and then roll them into little balls. And I've already got me a grease pan. My pan is about an 8 by 10 and this recipe will make up to 15 rolls if you want to do it in a bigger pan. You can't even make up to 18 rolls if you want to make, just depends on what size dinner rolls you like. So I'm going to cut this in half. Keep dividing it until I get uh, 12 uh, pieces that I can roll into dinner rolls. I'm kind of just scoring it first. Just try to make sure you're doing equal so your rolls come out all the same size. And then we're just going to take them and we're just going to roll them into balls and then place them right into your pan. And I'll bring you back when I get all these rolled up. Okay, I've got them all rolled up into little balls. You just want to put them in a pan. You don't want them 
to be touching. They're going to, uh, we're going to let these rise again for uh, about 30 to 45 minutes. They should fill up the whole pan once risen. And uh, just a tip on, uh, like today, we've had a uh, cold, icy weather here in Texas, which is rare for us. So it's a little bit colder in the house. So what I've done today is um, just turn on the microwave for 30 seconds and then uh, cover these and put them in the microwave. Another uh, trick you can do is turn on your oven on 200 degrees and let it come to temperature and then uh, turn it off and then I would wait for just a couple minutes and then cover them and you can put them in the oven and let them proof that way. We will bake them at uh, 375 for 20 to 25 minutes and we'll bring you back. Okay, they've uh, risen for, I let them go for uh, 40 minutes for the second rise and we're going to bake them at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, my rolls came out of the oven. And uh, I'm going to let them cool just a little bit, and then we'll have uh, a taste tester. Be right back. Okay, we got Carmine. He's going to be our taste tester today. I like it. It's good. You can see I put butter on it. That's what the texture of the rolls are. All right, well, thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe and hit the like button and come back and join us next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.